Hey guys, it's Bill from Linden, Tennessee. So first off, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Sonic, for providing me with this lovely drink. Now, they're not actually giving me any money. I had to pay for the drink, but uh, the cool thing is that I drove the Jeep to go get it, which is in town. That's about, I don't know, eight miles away, so we're talking about a 16-mile round trip. Uh, yeah, and it, for the most part, performed flawlessly. We took it down a stretch of road. I uh, hit 60 miles an hour. I didn't end up with the um, the dreaded death wobble that um, these things tend to have or can have. Usually that's attributed to a track bar with bad bushings or something. But since all of my stuff's uh, new, that shouldn't have been a problem. And it wasn't. There wasn't any uh, obnoxious vibrations from tires being out of balance, which is good because there's about seven pounds of weight <laughs> wheel weights on the on the inside of these rims they're not i guess they're not very good they're not very good tires or something i don't know um what else i think my alignment is off a little bit uh, when i run my hands across here i get this what's called a sawtooth pattern going this way it feels smooth but then pulling back it's sharp so there's kind of like a you know, like if you look at this, it sort of does one of those numbers like that. And then what that indicates is that the toe, the, the toe in is incorrect and it's scrubbing when it's going down the road. So uh, that's obviously not good for efficiency and it's really not good for the tires. That'll, that'll wear out tires really fast. So that needs to be addressed. Uh, on a more s serious note, though, when we were coming back, my, um, my temperatures got real hot. The... There's, um, there's an inverter temp and a stator temp and a PCB temp. I'm not sure what that is, printed circuit board temp. I don't know. But uh, at any rate, that PCB temp got up over 100 at one point, and there was a fault that was thrown for a temperature imbalance. And then there was another one um, where it actually where it just shut down the whole thing. It was just the over temperature of the inverter, I guess. So... I don't know. I've got, I set the fans up to come on and they actually did come on. They come on at, um, I had them set up to come on at 41 Celsius and that is the inverter temperature. So I don't know what the inverter temperature and the PCB temperature, I don't know how they relate. I'll have to get with EV controls and, um, find out what that means. And on a bigger issue, uh, this was a pretty cool day today. Maybe, you know, mid sixties or something, maybe 70. I don't doubt that, but if, uh, you know, if I can't keep the temperatures down, I, don't know, I, I actually, I don't know what the temperature should be. I don't know what the inverter temperature should be. Cause like if it's, you know, if it's 95 degrees outside or say it's a hundred degrees outside, that is 40, that is 40 degrees Celsius. So, uh, there's no way that any size radiator is going to, um, keep, a temperature below the ambient temperature. It's just not going to happen. So you'd have to have a air conditioning and then actually chill the water going through the motor, which I don't think, I don't think that's reasonable. I don't, I don't think that is how it should be. So maybe 40 degrees is, is simply too cool. Uh, I should have, I should bump that up to 50 or something, 60. I don't know. I, again, I'm gonna have to get with EV controls or anybody else out there in Tesla drive unit land who might know the answer to that. Uh, let me know. And um, I suppose if the, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, but I'm still going to have that in, um, imbalance condition where the PCB is getting too hot. I don't know what to do about that. It seems like it's independent of the other um, other devices, and it certainly isn't, uh, you know, the, the controller certainly doesn't like it. So, so yeah, that's a bummer. Um, so we'll have to see what happens with that. Worst case, what I may end up having to do is I may have to um, put a bigger radiator, a bigger capacity radiator up here. I do have some room between the radiator and the battery box, but not a lot. Um, yeah, and oh, removing all that and fabricating new mounts without having to take the battery box out, again, is probably not going to happen, so... If I, if that's where I need to go with this thing, then, uh, you know, I'll just have to pull the battery box out again. But, you know, as, as I sort of proved yesterday or whenever that was, it's not really all that hard to do. Um, it's just, I just didn't want to, I don't want to, cause it's really heavy and it's kind of freaks me out because it's a lot of money. And if something were to, 
let go and that thing came crashing to the ground, you know, <laughs> it, it might hurt something, including me and my garage. But anyway, so that's where we're at. But uh, um, yeah, pretty cool. It was a, it was a nice day to do it. And uh, we pulled over on the side of the road and we had the over temp and just sort of sat there for a little while and cycled the controller and, you know, went on our merry way the rest of the time. Um, for one brief moment, I pulled 500 amps and that works out to about, I don't know, 200 and something horsepower. And uh, it, it scooted along pretty good. It's it's certainly uh, better acceleration than from factory. That is for sure. And it'll flat light up the tires on gravel so i'll have to get a video of it doing that uh, maybe tomorrow tomorrow's supposed to be like 70 so we'll see if we can do that um yeah what else the little slidey doors are fantastic uh, the, you know little slidey door windows are great so you pull up to a sonic and you do your order and you do your money exchange and it's so much better than having zip zipper roll down kind of windows i've never had those style of windows before so i, I really can't speak for it but i can tell you that you know that works these work really good and all of this top and then the, the door doors on themselves uh, provided a lot of wind cancel it cancellation wind I don't know buffeting there wasn't a lot of wind my wife was with me and she had a little knit hat on to sort of keep her hair uh, at bay but I don't think it would have been much of a problem so so that's pretty cool all in all it's a good day good uh, good turnout I don't have any leaks or anything there's some noises going around corners it's a little bit weird mostly going around the left turner left turn I get noises from the right side. Um, I'm not sure what it is. I may need to check my wheel bearings or something, and maybe maybe something's loose. So that's probably what I'll do. I'll pull that wheel off and see if I can't tighten up the wheel bearing. That's probably what it is. So okay, uh, yeah, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.